Hey guys, it's Amari here coming at you from Applaud Al Carmen. And I want to shoot a quick video today. It's Saturday, I've spent the whole day running around uh, caves here in uh, Mexico. And I want to talk a bit about fat burning and give one a uh, huge tip of fat loss that I wish I knew earlier. And this is something that I kind of fell into. It's kind of a trap that I see a lot of people fall into. And you guys probably heard the saying, abs are made in a kitchen and things that are, let's say 80% of it is diet, 20% is exercise, you know, focus mainly on the diet. And what this kind of leads people to kind of an extreme uh, lifestyle where they're uh, so restrictive in their diet, so they want to create all that deficit that they need from just caloric restriction, that they often neglect the fact that they want to be more active in their life. They want to move their body, have increased energy expenditure. And this doesn't have to come from the gym. This doesn't have to come from deliberate cardio, but it does kind of have to be you exiting the house, parking the car a little bit uh, earlier maybe, and then walking to work, maybe taking the stairs instead of the escalator, and basically doing things that are the exact opposite what today's environment wants you to do. I mean, today's environment is all about convenience, right? It's all about the escalators, elevators, how we can get a better cart so we don't even have to walk while we shop for our groceries. Why can't we just ride a skateboard or something like that, right? Why, how can we save energy, right? Conserve energy. And that's great, but for most of us, I mean, if we're not actively doing something and if we're actively not planning things to do with our body and, and engage and express ourselves physically, we're not gonna do anything. Most of us will be uh, simply sedentary. We were gonna hit the gym three, four times a week and then you, you end up having to eat 1,700 calories to lose body fat. And 1,700 calories is, is nothing almost for like, if you're a bigger guy. I mean, that's really not a lot of food and you're very, very hungry, you hate your life, you can't eat food, and as well as you're not doing much with your body, so you're bored, right? What's the, one of the biggest triggers of overeating? It's being bored, right? If you're in your house, if you're uh, watching Netflix all the time, if you're playing a lot on your computer, I mean, what are you gonna do, right? I mean, th that's the thing that I wanna emphasize a little bit here is, it is about that energy expenditure that is created from non-exercise activity, that need factor, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And I think that it's a really good idea to have an activity tracker or it's a really good idea to plan things at least once or twice a week where you exit the house, something that is just taking a walk, taking a hike, doing some cycling, doing anything, like just, making sure that you move your body, get away from screens like this a little bit, and that will make your whole fat loss journey a lot easier because now you have that energy expenditure side of things and if the activity is not some extremely intense activity, it's not gonna be a problem to recover from that. It's also not a problem in general when you add a lot of low intensity activity because these activities don't really impact your training as much. So if you're going through the gym three to four times a week, it's not a big deal to add two, three days of something like this as well on top of that. And it's not gonna uh, make your life worse. It's actually gonna make you a lot happier because now you're planning things. And when we're planning things, we're getting excited about things. And that's a really nice way to look at it as well as a benefit where you can spend more time with your friends, with your family, and just move, right? Be more active, engage with the world around you instead of spending most of the time indoors, which is kind of a mistake that I made on my first diet. When I was first cutting down, I was just, counting calories, right? Most of my days were spent uh, looking at the, t uh, at the screen, either looking at TV shows or trying to get the time to pass by faster while I was counting calories because I was restricting my diet so much. I wasn't really a big fan of cardio. I was lifting a lot of weights. I mean, I was going to the gym five times a week, but I was kind of that, I would say like a lazy gym rat, right? I mean, outside of the gym, I wasn't very active and I spent most of my time sitting down and that's really hard on the journey of fat loss because you have barely any energy expenditure. I mean, simply going to gym, doing strength training, it doesn't burn that many calories. I mean, we're talking about two to 400 calories. You know, that's not a lot. And that's definitely uh, the majority of people in the gym. That's how much you get. And that's really not a lot of calories. So hit the diet hard. Make sure that that deficit comes from the diet 60, 70% of the time, 80% of the time, but also engage, walk around, move around. Depending on what your body type is, you might need to do more of this. You might do a little bit less of this, but it's a really awesome way to stay fit, happy, and also burn a lot of body fat 
fast. So that's a quick tip for you guys today when I search some of the cool footage that I got today from uh, exploring these uh, caves, so-called cenotes here in uh, Mexico. It's pretty cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. What's your favorite activity outside of the gym? What's the favorite thing that you do kind of uh, to express yourself physically, something that you do to get out of the house, just to move around? So let me know in the comments below. It could be just a simple walk like I do. I mean, I love walks. So hit me up in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well, support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So we're at the famous Cenotes here in uh, Puerto Carmen, right next door, and about to check out some awesome adventures, which this uh, state in Mexico is really famous for. So I'm pretty excited for that. So we'll see what's going to happen inside. And I'm going to bring you guys along. So we're doing a horror style vlog here in the cave in Mexico. Has anybody ever done squats with this?